Okay, so we're finishing up our third week to go here at Fantasy Flight, trying to get this Benoit going. It's been a very productive week. A couple of days ago, uh, we hosted the Tony Janus board meeting, had all the guys out here and the gals, you know, to kind of see what the progress was as we narrowed down on this anniversary. Also the same day, the Roberts engine from Ohio uh, came down from uh, uh, Vintage Auto Rebuilds. So uh, I got an opportunity to invite some of the press out because I thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, show them some of the progress on the hull, the fuselage. We got a chance to look at the wings and where we were on that. And I think most importantly, and the most exciting thing about that day was the fact that we got to run the engine for everybody. Okay, everybody got your earplugs? Well, actually, it's better to try it without it first, then put them in. <laughs> Coming in Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> We're really kind of creating not only uh, you know the the history of what uh, the airplane looked like, but also the history of what it sounded like, which I think is very important. A lot of times people will put a modern engine and what I call a replica, but we're trying to create a reproduction which includes not only the original construction details but also the original type engine that was used in it. We got a chance to uh, actually lift the engine into the hull for the first time to check for clearances to make sure everything was going to kind of fit okay. One issue that we found that uh, we're going to have to work on, uh, we, we didn't know exactly where the fuel tank was going to go and uh, one of the things that happened was the fuel tank was actually touching the magneto. That is not a good thing. Our mission statement here is to light that spark within, but that's not what I had in mind. So we're actually going to move the fuel tank back about two inches, which necessitates we're going to have to modify the brackets that we originally made. And in the process of that, we're actually going to move the fuel tank as far outboard as we can. We had about this much clearance to the fuselage. We're going to narrow that down and get it further away from the engine. So that'll uh, be something that we do. Also, our radiator showed up, so right now we're in the process of trying to figure out how we're going to mount that in a safe way. It's pretty heavy, it weighs 60 pounds, so we're trying to do it in a way that we don't add a lot of additional uh, compression loads on these struts behind me, and uh, so we're probably going to put a little support down in the bottom to uh, alleviate that problem. Uh, this week's been an interesting one, next week's going to be even more interesting.